What's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. Now today we will be testing out the Insta360 Go 2 which I've attached to an electric scooter. Now we're going to be putting this camera to the test. I'll be shooting at the highest resolution which is 1440p at 50fps and I will be testing out the various different modes. Now I'm also wearing the magnet neckband and also have the option to drop it into the charging case for two hours of non-stop video capture. So let's get rolling. So first of all, we are shooting in pro mode. That's 1440p at 50 FPS with flow state image stabilization active. And you can see how smooth that video looks. And I've got the Insta360 Go To attached to my chest using the magnet pendant. And even with my scooter at top speed of 25 kilometers per hour, the video still looks super smooth. It is a rather dull day, so not ideal shooting conditions, yet 1440p looks pretty good, stable, and quite detailed. So this is mode S, or the gear two. This is the highest gear. You can see the speed rising up pretty quickly. 18, 19, 20. This should give us 25 kilometers per hour top speed now after pro mode my second most favorite shooting mode is hyperlapse it's a super fun stabilized video shot in 1440p and as you can see i am absolutely whizzing through the park on my scooter and the video looks amazing now i do have the camera inside its charging dock which is mounted to the front of the scooter handles it's super stable video and there is no fear of the camera falling out the case the magnetic connection is very strong so 1440p hyperlapse videos people so i'm out and about at my local park i got with me the brand new insta 360 go 2. now this little camera is tiny in size but don't underestimate it it can shoot 1440p at 50 frames per second which is exactly what we're shooting right now and you can see ultra smooth video so just going to flip the camera around we're going to test that image stabilization so here we go so that was flow state image stabilization 1440p at 50 frames per second all right so let's drop the resolution down to 1080p and see if it still looks good so i've now dropped down the resolution to 1080p and we are still shooting in pro mode which means you get flow state image stabilization so the best image stabilization that this camera can do and again light jog you can also shoot your very own fun slow motion videos and it supports 1080p at 120 frames per second Furthermore, your slow motion clips can be up to 30 minutes in length, so lots of opportunities to capture some fun moments in slow motion. Now, you can also use the smartphone app to edit the video and make it even slower if you wish to do so. Now closer look at the Insta360 Go 2 itself, so a very small action camera. It weighs no more than 26.5 grams and in height that is 52 millimeters. So this is one tiny lightweight action camera, but its capabilities are everything but. So some of the highlight features are 1440p HDR video capture at 50 frames per second with ultra smooth flow state image stabilization. You can take nine megapixel photos. And here are a few photo samples for you guys to check out. The camera itself is waterproof up to four meters with the lens guard on. And if you're wondering, that is the lens guard, which can be removed so you can unscrew it and you can put it back on. That lens guard means you can take this underwater, 
up to four meters. So this camera is designed for hobbyists, vloggers, cyclists, or anyone who likes to shoot creative videos. This camera offers super portability, great for point of view angle shots, especially when cycling, scootering, skiing, and other active sports, giving you an easy way to record footage in a different aspect ratio than what we are used to, and the results are pretty amazing. So that was the Insta360 Go 2. This camera has a lot of cool features to play around with. This is my second video giving you guys more samples of what this camera is all about. And filming with this tiny action camera is just loads of fun. But at the same time, the footage is much higher resolution and better quality than the last gen model. The Go 2 is also waterproof, has a very unique and useful charging case, and you have 32 gigs of internal storage and an excellent battery life. Also, everything can be managed from the smartphone app, which includes includes editing, extracting and sharing directly from the smartphone. Now in the short time that I have been using the new Insta360 GO 2, I have found that there is lots to love about this action camera. Now I've thoroughly enjoyed using it. It gives you a kind of satisfaction that you don't get with other action cameras. This feels like a true next gen product, something new to enjoy for both leisure and possibly work. Now I have actually used this Insta360 GO 2 to capture some cool shots of my upcoming electric scooter video. Now the video quality at 1440p is brilliant and even 1080p looks great on this. Now the flow state stabilization is one of the best in the business. I love the build quality. I love that little screen on the front. I love the tripod legs and even that quarter inch screw at the bottom is is so useful. But I will leave the relevant links in the description box so you guys can check this out for yourselves. Now I do hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.